All the assets and code used in this video are linked in the description. Start by opening up your enemy scene. My enemy is made from a kinematic body 2D and a sprite node. Next, add a script to your enemy and at the top of the script define these four variables. The way you get a reference to the player node is likely different from mine. To get your player node, use the get period method until you reach the top of the tree and then use the get node function to search down the tree. In my case, I need to use the get period method twice to reach the top of the tree. Next, create a new physics function. Inside this function, set the player position variable to be equal to the position of the player node. Underneath this, set the target position to be equal to the player position minus the enemy's current position. We're also going to normalize it at the end. Now we need to make the enemy move. Start by creating a new if statement, which checks if the distance to the player position is greater than three. If it is, then we're going to move the enemy towards the target position using the move and slide method. We can also use the lock at method to make the enemy look in the direction that it's moving. Consider checking out this video on the player movement.